I've been waiting for this occasion to have some sadhu sangha with Deva Shishrabhu. Hey Krishna. Right. I'm not mind. Happy to see you. And with Deva Shishrabhu, happy to see you. Just over the small pond, the channel, English channel. Yeah. Govinda, Govinda, Lavanya Mai Devi Dasi. She's coming to speak with us today, but she's busy in the kitchen. You know what? I completely <laughs> forgot about that homework to like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> okay, I don't think, I think about it once the whole week. Never remembered it. So possibly the message should be have a memory first. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot all about it. I'm such an idiot. Lavanya, La I've got notebooks of things to remember here, right, right beside me. And I know. even with the notebook, we struggle what to do. Jai, Anandamai David Asi in Portugal. Jai, tomorrow we've got one devotee going to Portugal. I think she's been in touch with you, Madhu Chandra David Asi. Hello, Maharaj. Hello. Dandabat, Anand oh, Dandabat, I was thinking that's not the Nandamoy's voice, is he Shanuga? Hello, how are you? <laughs> yes, so going on. <laughs> and you, all of you? We are okay, thank you. <laughs> By the way, here this evening, or this afternoon rather, we did a, a what what is going to call it? Hari, Hari Nam Hatta, what? Nam Namahatta, yes. Nam Hatta means Rituraj Prabhu. And uh, Krishna Shaki, they've moved into a new flat, means a place that they've bought, which is bigger, and they've done nicely. So we did like the housewarming program. And there we were remembering about Nadia when she was very young and Gurudev giving her something. Krishna Kanta was telling the story and she's saying about how Nadia had the, all these like early cute curly hair and all these things. So we were remembering Gurudev in Green Street and Gurudev with you all. Hare nice. Krishna. Yes, very nice. I'm afraid I'm, I didn't note it down, so I have to join Lavanya Moy's suggestion. First, we have to remember things. <laughs> And Jadu Gopal Prabhu, very happy to see you, Prabhu. Jadu Gopal Prabhu. I hope everything is con continuing okay. I know you're a busy and responsible devotee and person in society. So happy to see you, Prabhu. Hare Krishna. And Baraja Mohini Didi, we were remembering you today also during oh our, the housewarming, housewarming program for Rita Raj. And I can only say you should have, you'd have to be there to know how we remember you because we covered various topics, but also remembering you with Gurudev in the times. Oh, we need to bring Krishna Kanta in. Why was she remembering? But you were here in um, Vila Govinda and before Vila Govinda, staying in a cow shed. <laughs> Yes, so, uh, it was mate valate, although it wasn't much like a cow shed because they had made it very, very nice, but it had been previously a cow shed, <clears throat> their, their first, uh, their first place where when they were there. And what I did not know until today was that Gurudev went there, he wanted to go to see where you all lived. Mm -hmm. And then Krishna Kanta told how like frantically you drive him back very fast and buying some things to offer him when he gets there and suddenly you know, trying to clean up the place so that it'll be fitting for him to come. And it's very sweet, you know, how she told in her ever lively way. Mm -hmm. And so anyway, we oh, just okay. sharing something from there and you can share something, Brandra Mohini, about that too. That'd be lovely. Well, I just, uh, <clears throat> I just think that I caused more trouble than I actually <laughs> helped 
I don't think I helped in any way, but it was amazing to see um, their service to Guru Dave and, and their, <clears throat> you know, Guru Dave accepting that service and being so happy with them and visiting Italy and, and their programs with all the devotees coming and all the arrangements. It was just, yeah, very, very wonderful time. <clears throat> Glad that I got to be there with them for a little while. So, thank you. Jai. All right. And Tunga Rasadevi Das has joined us. And Vijay Krishnabhu and Leela Moy, no doubt, also there with us from East London. London, Maharaj. Dandavat. <laughs> <laughs> right way up. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Dandavat. Happy to see you all. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Oh. oh how sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Dandavat, Dandavat. Yeah. And 108 is with us, so we know it's a devotee. But mystery devotee, you can say who you are if you wish. Otherwise, 108 Prabhu Odasi, welcome. And Ananda Swarupini did he just joined too. So we're a couple of minutes, oh, we're a few minutes in suddenly. So with obeisances, let us pay our obeisances to each other. And mini vandana means we'll also then chant Omagyan and Namo Maha Varanyaya. So first of all, to each of us, we've come together. Bancha Kaupa Trubias Cha Kripa Sindubya Evita Patitanam Namaha. In Om Agyana Timarandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshur Anmilitam Jaina, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Namo Maha Varanyaya, Krishna Prema Pradayate, Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya, Namne Gauratuja Namaha. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita Garadhara, Sri Vas Adi. Gaura Bhakta Vrinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And welcome to, to Seva Rupa Devirasi in South Africa. We see you there with the sun shining full in South Africa. Or you've got good lights behind you, one of the two. Daylight <laughs> lighting. Maybe. And it's good lighting. It's good lighting, it's not sunlight, right? No, no, it's not sunlight. <laughs> okay, it's good lighting. Because it's winter in the south, believe it or not. Winter yes. in the south while it's spring here. And actually, from the Vila Govinda camera, you can see the uh, Pushpa Samadhi and you can see outside mm -hmm. in the evening, evening time here. Yeah, it's dark here. Yeah. And Saumya Sham Prabhu and Vijayananda Prabhu joined us also from Ireland, Limerick, on the west coast of Ireland. Dandavat to you both and Dandavat to you all. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. Dandavat. <laughs> Krishna. Hey, where is a Zoom happening? Dandavats, all the Vaishnavas. Dandavats. <laughs> Dandavats, I need to make your screen bigger so I can see who's giving Dandavats. Krishna and Prabhu and? Vera oh. Chandra. An expansion of Vera Chandra Prabhu. Jai. And? And Kunti Devi Dasi is also here. Kunti, I thought it was Kunti. Maharaj. We were just talking about you. They were asked, there's this Radhanath Swami little thing down the street, country road. And then I was saying how every time I'd see Radhana Swami, I would ask him to say pastime of Gurudev. And he did. And then one time I asked him again, tell me some pastime of Gurudev. And he said, the nicest Vaishnava I know in my life is Mahananda Prabhu. This was many years ago. So I just wanted to share that. He thinks you're the nicest Vaishnava he's ever met on this planet. Well He's a gentleman, and I'm indebted for, for, that, for those words. He must have known the words would come to me. 
Therefore, I'll try to be what he expects. Uh, his encouragement. <laughs> but we're all taking much inspiration from uh, all the abilities we're visiting and Brother Mahini, of course, and uh, hoping that we can serve all of you and to have your continued connection, Maharaj. Well, you have our connection now. You're with us. Have a seat. David Shishru, is that right? Yeah. yeah. Jai, David Shishru, Anavats. 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 Oh, many Devashish Prabhu, he's our host. We have come to we have come to Devashish Prabhu. London. Jai. Well, we don't want to distract too much from the program or giving our obeisances to all the devotees, Jai Guru Dev. Prabhu, pull up a pull up a cushion, sit down cross-legged. <laughs> okay. Join okay. us. Okay. <laughs> so those of you who don't know Krishnananda Prabhu, sit in here. Then you and we can introduce him as a very active table devotee. Whatever. The table, I guess. So, Braja, just turn yeah. off your camera. Okay. Just turn off your microphone. Yeah, keep the camera on. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. All right. And Dave and Andras with his typewriter. I saw a Swami typewriter just now, I think. Did I? A real click, 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 click typewriter. Uh, that's just a keyboard, Maharaj. Oh, it's a keyboard. It's done, done, we used to call the portable typewriters, the Swami typewriters, because the sannyasis would walk around with them for doing their correspondence, etc. Okay, dear devotees, we've come together, so please let us um, come, and we are associating happily, meeting each other happily, the family, and let us come to the the topic, the theme, because I know David Shifu gave us a wonderful topic. Oh, yes, to know, oh, just one thing, to know that is to know everything. To have that is to have everything. Well, I know that's a quote from the books. I haven't looked it up. David Shifu has, so that's it. he's read it and then come up with this. But without going to the book and me saying, oh, it is this thing that's being referred to. And I think by Guru Maharaj, it's probably a quote by Guru Maharaj. David Shishra will clarify in a minute. But I can also just say that as we read the books and hear, and a little bit of be in the world, if you like. I mean, we're all living, we're in experience. Maybe David Shish, we'll just keep an eye on the on the mic. Yes, so right. I've done that. Yeah. Okay, super, super. Um, and so what I was, my point was going to be that actually I keep on seeing things which we only need this by this one thing, everything else will fall into place. <clears throat> so uh, kind of an off the bat comment about the title then we can think that we only need to have one thing, and that is faith in the genuine guru, faith in the guru principle, faith in the fact I need to be a disciple, I need to be a student of a real master. That one thing would be in my list of categories of just, uh, of my list of, uh, under the heading of just one thing. I'll put that in, in my list. And then just one thing. Faith in the holy name of the Lord. To chant the name of the Lord. To know that the name is the Lord himself in sound form. And especially in Kali Yuga. That the name is our very means of purification and of then making ourselves gradually qualified for Krishna's grace to descend to us. So the name would be one thing in my list of just one thing. And on that topic almost is just one thing. We just need to be humble tolerant, give honor to others and not want honor for ourselves. With that one thing, we will be successful when connected with the, the Guru, the Vaishnava, and the Holy Name. 
And I can add another thing, the Vaishnavas. One thing, and of course, Guru is the Vaishnava, the principal Vaishnava under whom we are sheltered, by whom we are connected. But one thing we need is the good association, the Vaishnava association, the Vaishnava family. Then everything will also come. Any of these one things, then everything else will come. And can we say one thing is prashadam? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I'll, med I'll meditate on that if we can uh, add just one thing is prashadam to our list. So the title is just one thing to know. Just one thing. To know that is to know everything. To have that is to have everything. Well, we can say also to that list. Well, first of all, I say Mahaprabhu, but I must say Nitai Goranga, Nityananda and Mahaprabhu. We may not know who is Krishna. We may not have read anything or heard anything about Krishna. But Mahaprabhu, if we just have that one connection, that one faith to hear on Nitai and Goranga, there we will get everything. And I can think just one thing is to really have faith in what Guru Maharaj and Guru Dev have given, which has come from Chaitanya Saraswatnat. Having our head in the dust of Sri Chaitanya Saraswatnat, that one thing will give us everything. Hare Krishna. So, I had just one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. <laughs> and it is so, when we read the books, we do repeatedly come from, we repeatedly do see, only thing we need is, we do see that again and again. But I think it's time to pass the microphone to Devashish Prabhu, He's, he knows where this exact quote is, so I'm all ears to hear the quote itself. Well, Marj, that was a lot of one things, wasn't it? You had a whole list of one things, but actually Guru Marj would refer to that, um, would say that many times, and, you know, he would say, like, is this a madman's proposal? that just by knowing one thing, we, we know everything. Just by having one thing, we have everything. And he meant it in a much broader way, of course. He means Krishna, Krishna consciousness. If you have Krishna consciousness, you have everything. If you know Krishna consciousness, you know everything. Because what else is there to know? What else is there to know? And there are various places where he's, he mentions this um, but one of them, which we've been looking at recently, is, of course, inner fulfillment, right at the beginning of inner fulfillment. So with your, um, and in fact, when I was looking it up, because I remember hearing Guru Maharaj say it, when I was looking it up, I, I came to a few places where it was. And on two separate occasions, when I, you know, like um, zoned in on it, it was the same place. So I thought, okay, this is what I meant to um meant to um, remind the devotees about. So it is actually um, the first chapter of Inner Fulfillment, and it's very short, but it is all there. So with your permission, I'm just going to read that, if I may. So Guru Maharaj says, The innate principle of life is to save one's own self, to become immortal, to come out of ignorance, and to become happy. Our very existence is being threatened at every second here where we live. Also, ignorance is threatening to cover our knowledge. And we are always being threatened to be swallowed by misery. These are our standing enemies, our born enemies, which are constantly threatening us. We must fight them in a scientific way and find out how to get free from them. 
They threaten our very existence, our very knowledge, and our very sense of happiness. Bidyate ridaya grantish, chidyante sarvasangshaya, kiyante kasya karmani mai drishti kilatmani. Of course, from Sriman Bhagavatam. When we gain the proper solution, all questions will disappear. That which is almost impossible and unthinkable, such a solution we will gain from the ancient scripture, Sriman Bhagavatam. Such a stage is possible. What is that? Bidyate ridaya grantihi. All the ties within the heart will be unloosened. The heart is full of different bindings. We, are, we tie ourselves with this idea, that idea, thousands of ideas. We are tied down by, I like this, I like that, I like it. But there is a certain type of knowledge that may descend within us that will cause all these bindings to be unloosened at once. At once we will find that so many ties are all unnecessary. So unloosen them. And loosen them all. They are our enemies. We thought them to be our friends and we wanted to tie ourselves with them and loosen and loosen and loosen. They are not friends but are all enemies. Therefore, all the ties of the heart are to be broken off. Bidjate Ridea Granthi is in the first day to become free of the ties of activity, karma. And the layer of knowledge is the next stage. Tidyante sarvasangshaya. There are so many doubts, doubts after doubts. But just as mist disappears, all doubts will be cleared. There is such a stage, a plane free from all doubt. The Upanishads also come and say, Jasmin vidnate sarvam idam vigyatam bhavati. Jasmine prapte sarvamidam praptam bhavati tad vigyashashva tadeva brahma. Inquiry is good, but inquire like a proper man in a proper scientific way. Search for the particular thing. Search for the particular thing which equates to the search of everything. Come to search that thing which will solve your entire problem. Search after this, searching after this, searching after the wants of A, searching after B, searching after C. Dismiss all these mad ideas and search only after the one thing that will satisfy everything. It is possible. Jasmine vigyate sarvam idam vigyatam bhavati. If we know that one point, everything is known. If we get that thing, everything is achieved. Is it possible? Yes, it is possible. And when we come to such faith, then it is real faith. It is Shraddha. It is possible. There is the central truth. If we know that, everything is known. If we get that, everything is got. So if you want to be a student, Study such a thing of absolute characteristic, the grand characteristic, not partial. Search for the whole, the conception of the whole. That will take us to the understanding of the one ruling polarity, the one unity, the oneness of the whole, the ideal that from one point the whole of our conception is being controlled and ruled. The one is the whole and the one is the master of the whole. And if I can be acquainted with that one, I will be acquainted with the whole. We are to search for the master of the conscious plane. Almost everything depends upon consciousness. External sensations and perceptions all depend upon consciousness. <clears throat> a thing means a perception of the thing by the eye or by touch. Everything that we experience in this world is a cluster of perceptions, sensations, and the whole thing is based on consciousness. So we are to search for the master, the king of the conscious world, 
We have no engagement in this mundane world except to search for the cause, the prime cause. In different stages of life, there is gradation of cause up to the land of beauty and love. We are to withdraw there, back to God, back to home, back to the center, home, not only consciousness. Consciousness is only on the way. Just as on a long journey, there are so many hostels along the way. Similarly, consciousness is on the way to the land of love and beauty, to the land of Krishna. First, we must cross consciousness. Then we shall find sweetness, anandam, rasam. Excuse me. Anandam is controlling, not consciousness. Consciousness is the basis, but the real hankering of all of us is for happiness, ecstasy, anandam, rasam, rasa. Beauty is controlling, and that can satisfy our inner hankering, not gyan, knowledge, and not consciousness. Consciousness is not the integer. What to speak of this material energy? Even consciousness cannot satisfy our inner hankering. The inner hankering is for satisfaction, happiness, sweetness, love, beauty, and mercy. Really, the inner analysis of our heart is that we are all hankering for sweetness, for rasa. But we are wandering hither and thither for that rasa. And frustrated, we come back with a slap on our cheek. We are going for rasa, but frustrated with a slap, we are coming back. In this way, we are wandering endlessly, as dictated by the forces of the external nature. We are wandering hither and thither, but by this process, we won't find the proper thing. Fortunately, the agents from the high level come to our relief. By various means, with, all, with or without us being aware of it, they inject some special news, which when accumulated, creates such energy in us that I must go back to my home. We are told that our home is such and that our fortune is connected with such a form of life. We must return back there. That is the campaign of Krishna consciousness. And that is the land of Vrindavan, the happiest domain. The most extensive plane, which includes everything. It is not a part. This world is a negligible part of that infinite world. That infinite ocean of sweetness. All may be accommodated there. It is not idolatry, not hypnotism, not sentimentalism, not emotionalism, but it is concrete fact, as much as we want happiness. The materialists are searching and thinking they are getting something, but by money and women, they are becoming frustrated. What is apparent is not real. They are being de deceived in such a way all through their lives, more or less. So we are fortunate if we receive guidance from the conscious friends in our life who endeavor to recruit us to that domain. Come to your senses. Come to your normal position. Come to your home. You are all misguided like crazy men, running hither and thither for happiness and pleasure. But you are not getting it, and this is common. The wild goose chasing of scientific researchers is trying to furnish you with more comforts of the transient flickering type. But such attempts are going in the opposite direction. They are inviting you to get more comforts by the help of the gross conception, but you will not find the real thing there. You will have to go inside. Home is necessary. Instead, you are being carried to a foreign land, dependent upon a foreign thing for your happiness. But real happiness does not depend on the supply of these physical comforts. It is within. It lives within. It is an independent thing. Stone and electricity cannot produce comfort for you. But that which can give comfort is superior in comparison to one who is searching like a crazy man for comfort. Real comfort holds a superior position to you. That which is inferior to you in nature will not give you comfort. Your thirst can be satisfied and fulfilled only from the higher region, not from the lower. Therefore, do not be mad to find it in the lower, in the fossil, but direct your search to the higher realm and take guidance from these friends who endeavor to recruit you to that domain. 
To heed this call is the real wealth of life for each and every one of us. There we are. Okay, back to you, Marge. You're muted, Marge, there. So I am the safest way to be. Hare Krishna. Anyhow, I also thought some other, other just ones, <laughs> and I didn't look them up. I was just thinking about it, and I came up with mercy. If we get that one thing of mercy, everything will get. If we surrender, everything we will get. And once, and actually this came by listening to you too, Sukriti, it seems to me, that Gurudev, he definitely gave some indication that without Sukriti, we are not going to understand these things. And this is why sometimes we bang our head against a brick wall when we are trying to get through to someone who looks intelligent, seems intelligent, but just can't quite cross a particular borderline to allow some broader thought to come in their mind. So, Sukriti, those are three more things that I've added to my list of just by getting just this one thing. Hare Krishna, but I think we should hear from the devotees. And yes. let us, let me hear from Ananda Sarupini just for a moment because I do believe, are you coming here tomorrow, Ananda Sarupini, Didi? Yes, Maharaj. Okay, yeah. very good. Yes. Okay, perfect. So we're looking forward to your arrival in Vila Govinda. And, Me too. And we have here also, you'll meet, you'll meet others who are arriving. We've got a little bit like Navadeep, devotees coming and going mm -hmm. today. Also from St. Petersburg, a dear devotee in Gora Vilas Prabhu and his other half, better half, only they can judge which is the better half. But uh, you meet with them here, and really a dear devotee we've known for so many years, and um, also from Latvia, two devotees have come here, and many of you know them, Suresh Krishna Prabhu and Udaran Prabhu, they've been on the Parakramas also in Vrindavan, as is Gauravilas, so they are here with us, and your London, Rasamoy Pandita, is here also. Mm -hmm. So you'll be quite at home. Okay, very okay. good. And please do send a little confirmation from your mobile phone mm -hmm. when you're through the customs and immigration and the flight is on time yeah. and everything and you're about to go. Please send mm -hmm. Munindra confirmation. And in this day okay. and age, we need that confirmation really because of Thank the you. uncertainties of travel. Can I ask a question, please? Ah, yes, uh, please do. How can we, um, you know, like tackle our, our mind? So with the famous Trinada Pisunichena, um, the rest of it, <laughs> the, the, about being humble and everything. And um, uh and especially like the part <clears throat> like um you know wishing everyone well but then like not expecting um honor in return is i think the whole thing is very challenging but lately i'm thinking a bit about that section and um i don't know what's your advice <laughs> Can I well say? i think if you're thinking about it you're probably doing it and Let's see, Krishna is always giving tests to us all. So sometimes Krishna, maybe we're not doing it properly because Krishna sometimes gives us bigger tests on each of these items. So we'll, I'll settle with saying it's a lifelong attempt. And this is coming from Gurudev. He said, it, it, this is our lifelong attempt to do this. And in this regard also, about Jesus, he gives much credit to Jesus that what we are preaching to be humble, to be tolerant, 
to give honor to others, not want honor for ourselves. That Jesus, he did that. That what we are preaching, he was doing. So we also can see that you know, Gurudev's humility in even making such a, I mean, in making such a statement, he's recog giving recognition where recognition is to be given. And there we get some example too in his life. But I would like to ask Raja Mohini Devidasi, because she's living in an ashram, in, lived in ashrams, living in ashrams, seen so much, being with Gurudev so much. And she has caught a virus from Gurudev. It's called the Bhakti, the happy Bhakti virus. And so, Braja Mohini, I ask you to share something. Oh my God, Maharaj. I've definitely caught a virus, but I don't know how happy it is. <laughs> I'm not in the happy stage of it. Um, happy in the association of devotees. Um, Definitely challenges are coming for sure. Um, <clears throat> and it seems like the majority of those challenges are internal challenges, you know, the challenges of the mind. <clears throat> because externally, you know, we're not in, for me personally, I'm not in Ukraine. I don't have to run from bombs falling from the sky. And we have plenty of food and we have <clears throat> even nice association. But, um, the mind is always giving some challenge and difficulty. So, um, I mean, it seems like in some way that that's um, <clears throat> being able to see some of the, the things that are coming out due to this process of that Gurudev is giving us, you know, it's a pure purificatory process of <clears throat> chanting and trying to serve and, <clears throat> it's cleansing our heart, it's cleansing our mind, but in the process, we're hearing that all the dirt and the dust will come up. And um, that's definitely happening. <laughs> it's happening. <laughs> Sometimes we can recognize it. And I think that's, you know, that's a kind of a blessing when we can recognize those parts of us that maybe we're not really very happy about or that we're that we can see as faults or we can see as things that are not favorable in our devotional life, <clears throat> but they're still, maybe there's, you know, they're still there. And um, somehow or other that, that thing is still within us. You know, we haven't gotten the whole, that we haven't gotten the whole thing out, you know, but it's, <clears throat> maybe it's, hopefully it's increasing our, you know, hopefully it's increasing our prayerful mood to Gurudev. Um, you know, to please accept us and engage us and, and um, that our sincerity will become more increased by those things. I mean, honestly, the tendency, my tendency is that I get discouraged and I get frustrated and I, I get down on myself, you know, but <clears throat> when I reach out to the devotees and I hear, um, then I get encouraged again. Um, <clears throat> Unfortunately, I don't have that, that strong faith like you all have, but um, when I'm with you, then I can get, get enlivened by that. But um, <clears throat> yeah, this, um, all of these things coming, coming to the surface, you know, and so in a, in a sense, I guess it must be good. <clears throat> it may not be comfortable or it may not be always feeling happy you know, our ego gets messed around with and we, <clears throat> you know, then we see that and then we feel, wow, you know, she seems like I've been doing this for a while. Why, why is my ego still going to be, you know, reacting in certain kinds of ways? But <clears throat> anyway, this is the process and, and we keep going and Gurudev is giving us so much encouragement to keep going. And, and we have this beautiful association and this opportunity with the, the Zoom classes with you all. And um, so, as, as you said, as Gurudev said, you know, it's a lifelong attempt. So we're, we're continuing day, day by day <clears throat> in each moment, each situation, 
trying to do our best to practice these things and try to remember, you know, this, this guidance that, that we're hearing all the time and continue to continue to keep trying. <clears throat> so <laughs> I have a sore throat, so my voice is a little strange right now. <clears throat> anyway, Maharaj, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Happily. So, no, okay, I won't. I was going to give Ananda Sarupini a little challenge, not a challenge, but a little project to do. So, I'm not, I don't know the details of your flight arrival, but I know that you'll be going to the airport, you'll be waiting in the lounge, you'll be sitting on the plane and see whether between between now and arriving here tomorrow, if you can actually memorize the, not the Sanskrit necessarily, but the content of the first eight verses of Sri uh, Upadesha Amrita. Okay, there's a challenge for you. And don't worry, you're still allowed in if you don't, if you don't get them right. We're not going to test you at the gate. But there's a good thing because actually remembering the Upadesha Amritam and meditating, I mean, meditating means keeping them in our mind, not sitting in the lotus position and meditating like that, but, you know, meditating, keeping in mind these instructions of Rupa Goswami. These will help us certainly in our attitude, our adjustment, recognizing when, when we slip up and trying to improve. And a devotee just today told me how he, in the night, before he rests, he's thinking and he says, I regret it. Every day I'm always regretting the things I did which weren't Krishna consciousness or like flippant things I said or talked some nonsense, you know, just something humorous and some nonsense. Lots of things like this. These automatically kind of come up to us when we go through the, um, the guidance of Rupa Goswami in Upadesha Amrita. So, this I can suggest to you. Maharaj, can I access that online, honey? Or is it? You can. And if you can indeed. Um, okay, so the, the straightforward way to get simply the translations mm -hmm. is go to vedabase.io uh -huh. And then just download it on your phone. And okay. I'm sure you've got that internet application on your phone. Mm -hmm. it's just, I think it's just called internet. You're using, you're a practical person, aren't you? You're using Android. And it's, sorry, those of you who use Apple phones, you know, I'm sure they're very good, but they, they've, when I got the, and the Android phone, it was so practical after using an Apple phone. So anyway, there, in the, it gives you an option um, to add the page. We've got a plus sign. Add any page to save pages. And you don't need okay. internet to read it later. Oh, look, there's a link. Okay, there you are. There's a link. Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and it's not long. And then... Uh, sweet principles, we can say. Yeah. But I would like also just now to hear from others, and I may find a little link I can give you to for some helpful ways to help you remember those uh, verses. We've got some like, key words to help us understand the key items that are there. But I think we should hear from Ananda Moy David Asi in Portugal another of our devotees here, who's got the virus of happy, sweet bhakti from being in the association of Gurudev. On the theme, or as you wish to share with us, Ananda Moididi, we humbly ask you, we just need to open your microphone kindly. Open your microphone, click somewhere. Yes. Uh... Okay. I, I like to give uh, the words to other person. I'm very tired. <laughs> uh, but I would say um, the Ukrainian devotee, Madhushanda, 
uh, is already already arranged everything, and uh, she already have contact with the devotee from Hare Krishna movement uh, from Ukraine. So uh, that's it's all 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 arranged. Okay. So, but uh, <laughs> I, I, I like to be. <laughs> what about humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others? Uh, yes, it's it's nice to to you can do that just like Bracha Mohini said. We are very um, happy, we're very good here. We have uh, food. We have uh, nothing is falling from the from the sky, and uh, so it's very. Good, we can we can do something for the other devotees. But you know, I already like to do something to the other devotees. Um, well, I think it's better to give the word to other uh, devotees. Okay, I'm did very it tired, and my no, English is no problem. Actually, the <laughs> evening time can be quite quite a challenge for for many of us. Uh-huh. And uh-huh. but. Actually, here we're at something enlivened because we had a really beautiful afternoon. And uh, we had uh, how many? Excuse me, seven, 17 devotees plus the two devotees home and then some that we went to for the, like, the housewarming. It was Rita Raj Prabhu and Krishna Sakidevi. And we had a very nice informal uh, afternoon in their new home. And extraordinarily, I mean, extraordinarily sweet chanting of Hare Krishna, which I really, I I was thinking, is it the room? What is it that is making it sound so sweet? And I thought if I was one of the people in these other flats, because it's in a nice area where it's grass in the middle and know how it's square around, but there are flats all around and a little Italian. It's not all just like flat concrete. It's got a little style to it. And, uh, but there are so many people there. And I just thought if I heard this kirtan, I would be thinking it's like something from heaven or what is, what is this sound? And what we did was with, so we had 17 devotees. Okay, three, okay, I confess three of them were children. (laughs) So, okay, 14, (laughs) Um, but we took it in turns. So we each chanted two Hare Krishna Maha Mantras each. And then some Nittai Goranga. So it was like very much who was hearing, they'll hear the Maha Mantra. And uh, so, yes, yeah, sometimes I'm quite tired in the evening, naturally. But today we got a little boost because it was such a happy program. And when we came back, just at that time, two devotees, they also came at that same time from St. Petersburg in Russia. And they were at the gate. And we'd all gone. There's nobody in the ashram. We'd all gone to the program. And so that was also happy to come. And here's two devotees coming to Vila Govinda, all the way from Russia, just to, to come, which was very happy. So we got a little life. Who's got a little life in them would like to share something with us? Save Arupa hands, look at her. She's got some life in her. Please. Seva Rupa in South Africa, the southern, very southern tip of the borough of London. Dandabats, Dandabats Maharaj, Dandabats devotees. <clears throat> um, should I say about Rat Maharaj anything? Oh, yes, but you can, as you wish. It is Ananda Sarupini, she was trying to think how to combat, how to win with this challenge of being humble, tolerant, giving honor to others and not wanting honor for themselves? Or what has inspired you? Yes, we're all here. And the theme of today is one thing by getting which everything is achieved. So you have a very broad job description for your few words today. Okay, so the like you say, the topic saying one thing in which everything is achieved. Um, I think I was contemplating on the one uh, class about the gyms, you know, um, and uh, 
<clears throat> for me, I think it, it is like saying coming to Krishna consciousness is quite a wide, um, you know, like option. Um, but if I have to look back and, and think how my life was before, I got involved with the devotees and uh, under your guidance and that it was um, very lost, very lost and always searching. And I think with um, experiences, you know, it's hard to find people that are trusting, caring, loving, and not wanting anything in return. Um, normally dealing with everyday life, there's always a catch, someone always wanting something from you. Um, so in other words, there's always some type of exploitation. But um, I think when I decided that I need to get my life on track and I came to um, join the BBC, and uh, I think every day has been like a, a blossoming, if I could put it that way. Because uh, when you come to the devotees and that it's not like anyone wants something from you, it's not like they are to get you. It's everyone's so nourishing and they're so giving and loving. And uh, you can feel that um, the warmth and the love and the comfort. And you just want to always be in contact with them. And um, I think for me, that's, uh, that is like the, the biggest gem in my life. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful and beautifully expressed. And I just noticed, sometimes devotees arrive and I don't notice them on the screen, but I just notice also, we do have a very hearty devotee who always wants to give and never wants to accept anything in return or anything at all with us. And this is, wait for it. Yes, it's you, Subhasini Devi Rasi. I'm thinking of because I just noticed that you're with us. And so please excuse, I didn't greet you. But Subhasini, she has a big heart and she was with Gurudev so much. And Gurudev given so much affection to her. And she's got the South Indian devotional DNA. So Subhasini, and she was recently in India in so many holy places. So now, Subhasini Didi, I've suitably embarrassed you, but now, if you could just share with the sweet devotees with us something for our nourishment this week. I think you saw the theme was one thing by one. Th if we get one thing, we get everything. But just follow in the footsteps of Seva Rupa, and here she knows that the devotees are only giving. So we're just coming to you, asking something, and we've got nothing in return to give, but here we are. And what's Maharaj and, and what's to all the devotees? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I did expect this. I was just happily listening, and uh, <laughs> it happens, <laughs> as you've noticed. <laughs> yeah, I, I. Well, if I say the one thing um, is. Uh, to always to help us uh, to keep us on track is the association of the devotees. And uh, many times, you know, for me also, I don't have the association, close association with the devotees. So association also means like the association of the scriptures, reading from the, you know, the uh, Guru uh, Varga, Guru. Maharaj and Gurudev. So those, um, you know, constantly be in touch with that, with that plane, you know, the vibration from that, uh, from their plane, that helps us actually to be on track. And that is what, you know, helping me all the time to either reading the books or uh, helping, um, or reading the books or listening from Gurudev is helping really. And um, um, so, well, today I, I, I just, um, I was just listening to Srila Guru Maharaj. Maybe I just can 
a short message, you know, he said, uh, um, if we have the taste, the, the taste is the one which takes us up to the higher level. We have the taste. It's, um, it's not knowledge is suspicious, like knowledge, you know, if you have the knowledge, maybe sometimes, you know, you may have, you know, this is good, this is bad, and that's like, but if, if the taste is there, the real taste is there, then that is the most uh, essential thing. That is the thing which will take us up. And so that is uh, Guru Maharaj's words I just listened today. So I just, I just want to share that, yeah. And on my little list of one thing, if we get one thing, we get everything. I was almost going to put taste. So I'm happy you brought that up. Because really that is also there. When we get a taste, then we're not going to have any attraction for this world anymore. Yes. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Must I say one thing, Maharaj? Yes. Who is speaking? Devananda Prabhu. Uh, yes, Prabhu. Yes. Hare Krishna. Dandadak. Um, yeah, I, I was writing uh, uh, Krishna consciousness for, you know, uh, for a long time. And, uh, and uh, last year, you know, I came back into it uh, to the mercy of devotees. Um, and uh, one thing I was doing when I was chanting uh, is that uh, I've got this book, The Search for Sri Krishna, Reality of the Beautiful. And I was reading this uh, quite a lot last year. And there's, there's one chapter in there called Nectar of the Holy Name. And I've uh, just Read if I can just read one passage, my lord. Please. please do, yes, yes. Okay, and this one passage is um, uh, okay, it, it's I, I want millions of years, and um, this is just one passage in in, a, in the chapter, but mm -hmm. anyway, so in the writings of Sri of Rupa Goswami, we find this verse, um, there's a Latin, uh, this is a Sanskrit, or a classic Sanskrit, um. Okay, so when the holy name of Krishna descends and captures the tongue and lips, it controls them so strongly that it, it engages them in chanting the holy name as if the lips and tongue had gone mad. In this way, the power of the name descends in them, and one feels that only one tongue and one mouth are not enough. Thousands of mouths are necessary to taste the name. Then the holy name of Krishna enters the year with such a great force and comes that the years are captured. And one thinks that only two years are insufficient. He wants millions of years to attend to the sweet cone entering the years. Two years are nothing to him. He wants millions of years. The nectar of the holy name is coming like a flood through his ears, pushing its way within the heart. It is so sweet that as it goes to capture the heart, the center of all senses, everything is paralyzed. Whenever that sweet aggressor touches, the whole thing is captured with such intensity that everything else is ignored. Rupa Goswami writes, I don't know, I can't say, I fail to express how much nectar there is in the holy name of Krishna. These two syllables contain so much sweetness that such a high quality of sweetness, sweetness and this sweetness is so aggressive that it captures everything. This verse is found in the Vedagna Vedagna Madhava, written by Sri Rupa Goswami. In his book, Sharanakati, Sri Bhakti Mano Thakur has explained uh, the uh, Namaskaram, eight prayers in glorification of the holy name, written by Rupa Goswami. The whole thing is described there very beautifully. He writes, my heart is just like a desert, hot with the rays of the sun. This is my internal mental condition. The desire for mortal things cannot satisfy me because by nature they are death producing. And not one or two, but thousands of such death producing desires have taken shelter in my mind. So my subconscious region is always burning. This is my condition. But somehow, by the grace of the Sudu, uh, Sadhu and Guru, the holy name of Krishna, with its infinite prospect, has entered through the ears, the holes of my ears, and reached the pain of my heart. And there, with some peculiar hope, with infinite auspicious possibilities, it touched my heart with a new kind of nectar. And that's just 
one passage in that chapter. And I, you know, that, that encouraged, you know, that chapter encouraged me quite a lot last, last year. Mm -hmm. you know, you know, can Krishna's consciousness again. Okay. Hi, David. Hi, David. Thank you, David Hi. and Guru. Hi. And we are exactly here to hear Guru Maharaj, to hear Guru Dave, and especially when there's something that strikes somebody's heart and gives inspiration to hear that. And so we ap appreciate very much. And tr really, this is all indicating the great wonder of what's waiting for us when we can chant without offense, with humility, tolerance, giving honor to others. So what a wonderful way to bring our gathering today to a conclusion, as it were. It's never a conclusion. To be continued, no doubt. Any last words, David Prabhu? No, Marj, just very happy to hear from everyone and have the association of the devotees. That's always uh, the one thing that we need in our life. The one thing by having, we get everything. And the one thing that if we know that, we know everything. And also, it is wonderful to, it's one, mm, wonderful, another you a misuse, okay, this one. It is wonderful to know that around the world, the devotees are coming, are come together. They're doing Sankirtan, they're reading the books, uh, having their artis, doing so many things and so many sincere devotees. And you see, this is, you know, so tech, not technically, it started, it's a London gathering, but we see devotees all over the world. And happily, this wave of Mahaprabhu and the wave of Gurudev, Guru Maharaj and Srila Prabhupada is alive. And we must try to keep connected in the current, keep in the flow, make our lives successful and infect others, as we're mentioning about the happy virus, infect others with the virus of Krishna consciousness in the sweetest way. And appreciating the presence of you all, those who I didn't directly greet also that back to Jim is here and Dana is here and Shama Malini is here too with Radharan. Dandavat Dandavat with Radha and Krishna too. And where yes. There's more news, but it's the end of <laughs> it's the end of the program. <laughs> we'll have to wait for the next news installment for next week, won't we? Dear devotees, let us all with our hearts chant the glories of wonderful Srila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Wonderful Srila Guru Maharaj Srila Bhakti Rakhok Sridha Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Our Sri Rupa Nuga Guru Vaga Ki Jai. Mama Charja Srila Haridas Thakur Ki Jai. Vishwarenya Srila A.C. Bhaktivaranta Sami Prabhupada Ki Jai. All the Vaishnavas and Antikoti Vaishnavrinda Ki Jai. All the Sri Chaitanya Saraswata Acharya Vrinda Ki Jai. To Shripa Deva Shishpavu Ki Jai. To all the devotees here present in the Zoom. And who will see, yes, it's recorded, who will see it in a recorded version later. You know, our obeisances, but our jai is first and our obeisances to you all. Bancha kalpata rubias cha, kripa sinha, eva cha, atitana pavane, pavane bio, vaishnavi, namaha. And Srila Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj ki jai. Hare Krishna. Oh, by the way, there are some things I see in the chat box. Oh, is this correct? Yep. Okay, then there we go. There's, oh, for Ananda Sarupini, there's a, a connection to the nec NOI, Nectar of Instruction, which is Upanishads. There's the link in the chat box. So just take a moment to copy, copy whatever you need because the chat will disappear very soon. Mm -hmm. I asked it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, very good. And Vijay Nandru, Samya Sham, Prabhu, you're there. I saw you briefly there for a second. Yes, both of you. To each of you, one by one by one. Dandabats, have a good day and we'll see you soon. Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. Dandabats, Maharaj. And thank you to one and all.